And on today's episode of why I'm such a great big failure, the four valve swap, everybody. All right, so before we get into actually working on this thing, we have a few issues that I need to deal with on this car. The number one thing is I might have a mechanical issue. It's blowing a lot of oil out the back, which means one of those valve guides or piston rings is messed up, which is not good. Now, um, the guy in the shop, uh, the older guy that's been building motors for years, he's telling me, just keep the oil topped up and try to drive it. The ring should see, that's what he's saying. So um, it's probably because I didn't clock the rings um, or, or probably made a mistake on one of them. We don't know. I'm not gonna focus on the smoking part in this aspect. In the last video, you guys saw that this thing was breaking up a lot. Oh yeah, something isn't right. And um, I actually thought I messed up the motor in that video, but I didn't. Um, my crank sensor, the wire, the clip for it falls out. And I need to, I wanna actually change that crank sensor and screw that clip in just to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So we're gonna be doing that in this video. I'm gonna be changing the cam sensor and the crank sensor just to make sure that the ECU knows exactly where the motor is and knows when to send fuel and when not to send fuel. When I was driving the car back to the shop, um, after driving it, I noticed I was breaking up a lot, wouldn't, you know, wouldn't idle, wants to shut off. When I came back to the shop, I noticed the connector was loose. So I pushed it all the way back on and I was able to back up and do a burnout right in the yard without it breaking up or anything. So I said, that's strange. I, would, I shouldn't have been able to do that if it was breaking up on that drive. So I figured out it has something to do with that crank signal or the cam signal. I'm gonna change both and secure the connector to the crank sensor. I'm gonna be doing that right now. Alright guys, as you can see, this is my spare, this is either a cam sensor no, this is my spare crankshaft sensor and this is the connector for it and as you see if I can push it all the way down I can still grab this without pressing the connector and pull it right back out. That's the issue we're having as I'm driving. This is starting to shake loose and come out and that's very bad because this is how the motor tells where this engine is, how to deliver fuel and how to deliver spark. So we need to change this out. We need to change the cam sensor and then start it up and see if it's any difference. So let's get to doing that. All right, so I changed the cam sensor, plugged that in, make sure it was good. I changed the crank sensor, plugged it in, make sure it's connected tight. I put a screw halfway through it and the connector cannot come off anymore. So I'm gonna start it now and just see if it revs any better. If it does, um, I'll probably take it for a short drive to see how the pulls are handling and hopefully it runs better. All right, so yet again, it seems like every time we touch this car, we find a new problem. That crank sensor and the connecting wire go into it definitely was a problem. The car sounds a lot quieter. It sounds a lot smoother. Um, it's still puffing out that white smoke. I'm really hoping I don't have to take this motor back apart because it just might be one of those valve, um, 
it might be a valve stem seal because I changed all of them I'm hoping I didn't forget one or forget two or pinch one or something like that uh, I hope it's not rings but you never know this is all just trial and error um, I am definitely dedicated to getting this thing running right so if I do have to pull it again re-ring it change the valve seals again that is going to definitely be happening we are not gonna stop putting this car together we're gonna get this right and we're gonna do it right so no matter how many times it takes me to get this right I'm not giving up on this project and we're gonna get this thing right but so far for right now um, it seems to be running 10 times better no breaking up no bunch of sparks bangs or pops like it was doing in the video before and um, seems to be running pretty good <laughs> Right, guys I think it's very safe to say now that the crank position sensor and the wire needed to change the connector um, because the car is responding extremely well I'm still getting a lot of smoke out the tailpipe so I gotta figure out what the hell is that coming from either it's gonna be valve seals or it's going to be rings now the piece that's puzzling me is it doesn't give out any smoke once it's idling but if you rev it hard it smokes I don't know I don't know what that might be. It can idle as long as it wants to, won't smoke, but the minute you rev it hard, it smokes. I don't know if that's um, valve seals or if it's rings. But like I said, we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna do it together. We're gonna fix this thing. We're gonna get it running as best as possible. It's definitely um, responding well. That was a first gear burnout and a second gear burnout and it was going straight to red line. It was really performing. Um, I don't want to keep running it if I'm going to keep burning oil because eventually I'll run low on oil and mess the motor up. So I have to figure out why oil is coming out the exhaust or all of that smoke, I should say, is coming out the exhaust. I might have to pull the valve covers to see if I could see any pinched um, seats or any, I don't know what, to, I don't really know what to look for, honestly, but I have no idea. I'm going to Google this stuff. We're going to figure this out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Always remember, don't drift without your dreams. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>